Hey friends, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And I'm excited to be able to shoot uh, a new video of the newest edition of the Reflection 150 Series uh, fifth wheel lineup by Grand Design RV. Uh, this one just arrived to our dealership. This is the 278 uh, BH in the Reflection 150 Series. So it's kind of a redesign. Um, Grand Design, the, the predecessor to this in the 150 series was called the 290 BH and is about a foot and a half longer with a slightly different bunk room configuration. And what they did, Tony Lizzie, product manager at Grand Design, uh, did a redesign on it and I think they've nailed it. Um, one of the things that they were able to do was get the length down, uh, which is nice, you know, when you're dealing with a half ton towable segment. Uh, very, very important. But before we get into the product itself, just a little detail on half ton towable fifth wheels. Uh, I will say payload capacity is everything on a 150 series or, or a half ton towable fifth wheel. And the payload as it relates to your vehicle, when you look at, uh, if you wanna find out the payload capacity of your vehicle or the weight that you can put in your vehicle, um, there's a sticker right in the door pillar of your vehicle. It'll have some red and yellow lines on it and there'll be a sentence on it that says, the combined weight of all occupants and cargo cannot exceed whatever that number is. That is considered your payload capacity. As it relates to the trailer, the hitch weight would come out of that payload capacity. So hypothetically, let's say you've got a 2000 pound payload capacity, round numbers in your half ton, you would deduct the hitch weight. For example, on this particular trailer is 1,338 pounds. Okay, you would deduct that from your payload capacity and what is left over would be for occupants in your vehicle, uh, any cargo fifth wheel hitch you wanna put in your vehicle. The other thing, the amount of cargo that you put in the trailer typically transfers anywhere from 10 to 20% of that weight onto the hitch of the vehicle. Okay, so you put 100 pounds in of cargo you're gonna transfer anywhere 10 to 20 pounds onto your hitch. So you gotta pull the calculator out, you gotta do the math, you gotta crunch it. So before you go buy a half ton truck, my friends in the world, make sure you verify the payload capacity. Don't look in a magazine, don't go off of what the salesperson tells you. We've had a lot of customers come in and get educated and become extremely disappointed uh, with their vehicle dealer. Um, because a lot of times they sell you on tow capacity, uh, not the payload capacity. So I know I've spent a little bit of time on that. Before you go and invest thousands and thousands of dollars in a truck, buyer beware, the right half ton can pull this. Not every half ton, the right half ton. And I, I wanna clarify that. And that's the case for any trailer. Any trailer you're pulling with a vehicle, the right vehicle will pull whatever trailer if you know the spec. So do your due diligence, please. The other thing, that makes this a half ton towable fifth wheel folks is Grand Design puts on the trail air turning point hitch. So the way that this is designed is it allows you to put a lighter weight hitch in the box of your truck. You don't have to go to a slider hitch. Slider hitches are very, very expensive and quite heavy. Okay. You can go to a fixed mount hitch. And what this does is this turning point will shift your pivot point typically is right here on, you know, any other day of the week on a, on the turning point, what you can do, is there's a couple of bolts, there's a wedge. That wedge right there gets bolted up in behind the kingpin and what that does is it fixes. So when you hook the trailer up into your fifth wheel hitch, it locks it, it will not pivot here anymore. And that's the wedge that you just pull these bolts out, mount that in there and boom, okay? Then there's a couple of bolts further back, right up underneath here, you pull those out and that will allow the turning point to pivot right here, 22 inches back from where it connects to the vehicle. Okay, so again, that will allow you to go to a lighter weight hitch, uh, saving you, again, payload capacity is very, very important. It will, why, why to have that turning point's important is because on a short, on a half ton, a lot of the half ton trucks have a shorter box. Okay, and if you have your, your pivot point where you typically will turn uh, the side of your, your uh, cap, there's a likelihood that it would hit the cab or the, the window on the back of your cab of your truck and cause some damage to the trailer and to your vehicle. So uh, with this Grand Design is setting this up to really ensure that you have a great towing experience, saving you payload capacity, 
and uh, get you camping in a Grand Design 150 series. The other thing that makes this a half ton towable fifth wheel, on all of the 150 series folks, there are no wardrobe slides or slide outs of any kind in the front of the trailer. When you see a half ton, be very, very cautious, okay, out there. There's a lot of manufacturers, a lot of products that will say half ton series or half ton towing. Hitch weight, hitch weight, hitch weight. You need to look at that and compare it to your payload. Grand Design, they purposely don't put wardrobe slides up in the front of their 150 series so that you can save on hitch weight. If you had a, a wardrobe slide up there, you're gonna add an extra two, you know, th 300 pounds at least uh, to the hitch weight of the um, of the trailer. So, but when, what Grand Design has done is they've gone really gotten really creative with their bedroom and, and bathroom layout to still give you uh, a lot of storage as to what you would get with a wardrobe slide so you're not sacrificing okay um, in terms of the product itself of course the reflection 150 series the overall build and construction and the things that they do to their products they don't deviate from the regular reflection okay when you look at a lot of half ton towable fifth wheels in the market today folks a lot of manufacturers will start taking build structure out to get the weight down Okay, Grand Design doesn't do that. You get the same roof construction, you get the same lamination, you still get the walk-on slide boxes, you still get all the same R values. All of those things that Grand Design is known for, you get the beautiful custom cabinetry on the inside, solid wood cabinet doors, solid cabinet framing, all of those things that you get in this is what you get in a regular reflection, so they're not deviating from it. They're designing the product to be maximized for a, for a half-ton towable without sacrificing quality. Okay, I know I've spent a lot of time on it, but very, very important, especially when you're investing thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, storage right up underneath the, um, the overhang here. Um, one of the things that Grand Design has done is on all of their reflections since day one, when they brought the product to marketplace, all of their pass-through storage compartments, full pass-through. Now, what that does is with, when you're looking out in the marketplace, a lot of manufacturers are still running plumbing down the middle of their compartments, which really prevents you from, you know, adding, uh, you know, bigger items into the pass-through storage. I've also seen it where some manufacturers, they've eliminated the baggage door on the far side, and they say it's got pass-through storage, but it literally passes through to underneath the overhang, okay? Um, and then they still have that plumbing and they're blocking it off. So it's not as friendly or as usable, easy to use, um, uh, pass-through storage okay one thing to note with Grand Designs um, all of their pass-through storage compartments on their fifth wheels folks are fully heated there is a heat plenum that runs through the top of the storage compartment it's a dedicated heat duct that are not running the the, the heat through floor joists uh, and those sorts of things but there is a heat duct that forces heat down into this cavity and if you're doing colder weather camping folks this becomes a really nice warmer air pocket may not be room temperature but it's going to create a nice air barrier or warm barrier between you upstairs on your upper deck in your bedroom and the outside of the trailer so but note grand design more aluminum tubes it's thicker it's taller bigger gauge all you know fully bead welded together uh, really nice LED lighting on the inside of this compartment as well. A lot of manufacturers are still using that Ozite carpet to hide in all the grooves and, and corners and edges. Grand design, really nice tight finishing. They do the vinyl decking here. So if you spill something in this compartment, you can easily wipe it up really easily. Battery disconnect switch, all the stuff that they're known for in their pass-through storage compartments, okay? Now, I typically show you the utility compartment on these trailers. <laughs> Um, but I have a confession to make. When this trailer showed up, it was like minus 40 degrees Celsius out. It was freezing cold. The driver washed the trailer. So literally this baggage door was frozen and we busted the handle off. That is a metal handle, by the way. Uh, either, I don't know, maybe we're just super strong up here in Canada, um, but we do have a new handle on order. So I can't show you on this one, the enclosed Nautilus utility center, enclosed gate valves, control module for your leveling system. Uh, and your compass connect system, all of that is still on this particular trailer. I encourage you, if you wanna get a little more detail on that, maybe just jump to one of the other 150 series uh, videos uh, on the reflection or any reflection for that matter, cause it's all the same uh, and you'll be able to, uh, to catch that detail there as well. So as we shoot up here on the weight badge, uh, this particular trailer unloaded vehicle weight as it came off the assembly line, 8,314 pounds, okay. Uh, GVWR is, where is it, 10,195 pounds. So of course the difference between the two is your cargo carrying capacity. And that's 1,000, 
821 pounds. Okay, so very, very respectable uh, cargo carrying capacity on this 150 series trailer. So um, coming down the side here again, they've got the 17.8 gallon quick recovery per hour, six gallon hot water heater with gas and electric on at the same time. They've got the 35,000 BTU furnace. That's the same size furnace that you get in a big 41 foot solitude, okay? Your trailer's gonna heat up like nothing in this trailer, thus saving you, you know, valuable propane, that sort of thing. You do get the docking light uh, for at night here if you need to deal with your, your uh, sewage on this trailer as well. Uh, I've got gloves on, so I've gotta manage this camera. I'm just gonna shoot up underneath the trailer here and show you, okay. So fully enclosed, heated underbelly. You've got the um, R R30 insulation, gate valve uh, for your uh, pull gate valve for your fresh water tank drain. Uh, you know they run all of the the um, uh, fo foam spray around all of the openings where you've got plumbing coming out. Um, you know through the underbelly of the trailer, but with that R30. Um, really, really helps with the uh, you know insulation of the trailer. It's fully insulated under there. Grand Design heats their tanks two ways on this product, folks. One, they run a dedicated heat duct off of your 35,000 BTU furnace. Okay, that forces heat down into that area. It's not a radiant heat like when you see heat registers in the floor of a trailer, folks. What heats your tanks underneath is radiant heat or heat loss off of that heat plenum. Okay, which really does not much for our cold weather camping that we do up here in Canada. Okay, the other thing that Grand Design does uh, with that dedicated heat duct on the reflection, what they do is they run a dedicated heat line to each of the tanks and it's fully enveloped or like they've insulated, uh, fully enveloped each tank. So each tank has a dedicated heat duct going into that cavity. So super, super good um, heating plus you get 12 volt thermostatically controlled heat blankets on each of your tanks as well. There's a switch up inside and uh, you know if you're traveling in cold weather uh, and you don't want to run your furnace but you want to keep those tanks warm because you got some fluid in there, um, simple just flip on that 12 volt uh, heat, heat blanket switch inside the trailer. So Grand Design go on the extra step there. The other thing is you get your enclosed gate valves. So all your gate valves are up inside that heated and insulated underbelly which is really really nice. So. Um, as we round the back of the trailer here, again, one of the newest things uh, on the 278BH versus the 290BH, its predecessor, is underneath in the bunk room, underneath uh, you've got the lower bunk, a gigantic trunk storage here. So, you know, you've got a light here, 110 plug, you could set up another little mini fridge or, or cooler if you want to plug that in there, but big monster, beautiful storage compartment pack all your patio mats, your camping gear, whatever you want, uh, which is awesome. And thick, thick baggage doors. Again, Grand Design's not holding back. Metal latches, that sort of thing. So, um, again, from their inception, they've never ran a bumper on the reflection. They've always given you the, the two-inch receiver before it was a, uh, a two-inch receiver just for bikes. Now they've got the, the hitch with the eyelets for chains, the flat four wiring. So on this particular trailer, you're 32 feet, 11 inches. Uh, you deduct that from 15 to 17 feet for your vehicle, uh, from where the trailer hooks up, of course, and then whatever you got left over, uh, you can pull, a, you know, maybe a little flat deck with a quad on it or a fishing boat or or what have you, uh, and you can get it done. That's a 3,000 pound hitch and a 300 pound hitch weight. So really, really good capacities with that or just slide the bike rack in and bring the kids' bicycles with you. So um, spray port here, of course, for your outdoor kitchen. Okay, it comes with a coil sprayer hose and then you've got your outdoor kitchen just around the other side, underneath your awning, of course. So, but ladders on the backs of all Grand Design products, folks. Full walk-on roof, full walk-on slide boxes. They don't use cable slides, fully laminated roof, okay? They give you that three-year structural warranty. They were the first manufacturer to come out with it, okay? First manufacturer to come out with a three-year structural warranty, and that's because they build their products to support their warranty. Okay, let's face it, RV manufacturers want to pay as little as they can on warranty claims, okay? Um, they're like insurance companies that way. So why not build a better product so you don't have to, okay? Last thing we want is your trailer to be tied up in the service department dealing with little knick-knack things. Grand Design is, is building that structure in, which is very, very important, okay? All right. I know I'm moving fast. It's pretty cold up here in Canada right now. 
uh, 20 foot power awning on this one as well. Does cover your outdoor kitchen, which is really, really nice. So you can set up a really nice, beautiful outdoor camp area. You know, lay out your big patio mat. And uh, you know, you got the range here, which is nice. The fridge, light in there as well for, you know, any cooking, uh, I guess, appliances or whatever you want to bring with you. This also has the auto leveling system on it, ground control 3.0. It's a four point auto leveling system, which works really, really good and uh, really helps make that trailer nice and nice and solid for you uh, when you set up the other cool thing with the auto level uh, is it's got an auto return feature so it'll actually remember where you last unhooked from and you just push that button auto return and it'll go right back so hooking up and unhooking from your tow vehicle is really really easy so a uh, couple other things folks you do get the goodyear uh, endurance tires which is new for this year um, you still get that fantastic warranty that the Westlake Lions head tire has, uh, which is good, but a lot of people like the brand name of Goodyear. And uh, so five-year warranty, 12 months, no questions asked replacement. You still get the Dexter towing system, so that's the five-year warranty on the axles. You've got the Easy Lube hubs, so you can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your driveway, very, very easy. If you want to watch that video on how to do it, just go to Dexter, um, Dexter.com, I guess, and uh, they'll tell you all about it, and then never adjust brakes, nitrogen filled. And then of course, you've got the More Ride CRE 3000 suspension system. Not to be confused with the other blue knockoff from overseas called Road Armor. Uh, buyer beware. Uh, with this system, you've got bronze bushings. Uh, you can grease, um, you know, the, the, the shackle hanger bolts, those bushings you can grease. Makes it really, really nice for maintenance on your, on your trailer for towability grand design building all that in which is real nice it's the same suspension system you get on a great big solitude so that's that golden thread of consistency that you get with grand design that so many people have come to uh to love and enjoy so tire link uh tire pressure monitoring system so it's pre-wired for that you can buy the the module the kit that would just uh go under the pre-prep uh docking station so um you know you buy that kit you put the little knobs on the end of your uh your valve stems and you'll be able to monitor your air pressure as you're going down the highway for temperature and that sort of thing um, and we'll talk about the compass connect when we jump inside another little shot there of the outside in grand design fully laminated vertical wall panels on every of every wall of the trailer even the slide boxes the slide roofs fully laminated every window openings framed in with aluminum and that aluminum is welded into the superstructure within the sidewall very very strong their front caps or structure caps uh, fully painted automotive painted far less chance of fading and discoloration um, they the, the graphics they use on their products are a 3m graphic they've got a higher uv coating on it backed with a five-year warranty and in behind that front cap that structure cap uh, which is very important there is a steel structure that goes from sidewall to sidewall tying in the front end of that trailer which is uh um, you know you want to have that structure built in for towability the other thing that grand design does folks that a lot of other products uh, don't do in behind this enclosure here they fully insulate okay a lot of products when you pull that down you just see the you know the, the bottom of the wood floor uh, and very little insulation grand design fully insulating in underneath that overhang uh, really important so keep your feet warm when you're walking inside when it's cold uh, I'm not going to jump up on the roof today, folks, because it's just a little slippery. Um, again, up on the roof, just like on all the other videos, uh, full walk on roof, walk on slide boxes. You've heard me say that a gazillion times. Coleman Mock uh, racetrack ducted air conditioning system. Very, very nice. It's pre-prepped for your solar. So right up front here on the trailer towards the front up here, it'll be a pre-prep. There'll be wiring run right down into that storage compartment. So if you want to easily hook up solar and there's tons of roof space up there to be able to set up the solar. Omnidirectional DV, uh, TV antenna, digital TV antenna. And you know, you can hook up that gateway device quite easily and uh, you know stream through your cell phone plan or any wi-fi that you can connect to the gateway system is an add-on device that would connect to the to the tv antenna uh, and then again for grand design folks full walk uh, uh, snow load roof because it's got a 16 inch on center wood truss has a very good thermal barrier r40 through your roof and down your front cap and they do put attic vents in all of their trailers so uh, i encourage you if you're planning on doing super hot camping or colder weather camping uh, stay away from laminated roofs okay laminated roofs just they don't breathe uh, you get a lot of moisture that can build up 
inside the trailer and uh, not escape. So just one second here, we're gonna jump inside and turn on my battery pack. All right, before we jump in, they added this really cool thing underneath called the uh, solid stance underneath the step. So that's a little tripod thing that folds down underneath that lower step. So if you wanna firm up the step for camping, you can do it and those legs are fully adjustable. The other thing we can do, if you wanna have the fold in and out step, um, we can add that, the rise above. What's cool about it, by having this step here already, you can take this off and the framework is there already that we can add another storage box where this step goes and then add the fold in and out step. Okay, so adding a little extra storage for your blocks or what have you, kind of cool. We've got that flexibility with this trailer, which is nice. So uh, going in, so everything from the bunk room forward as compared to the 290BH, the predecessor of this floor plan, is the same. Nothing's changed, okay? And we're going to jump right into the bunk room here. So this bunk room, uh, they designed first in the uh, uh, 28BH. That was the regular reflection. Uh, layout. This was the first bunk room configuration that they had. It was an absolute hit. Um, so you got the double over double bunks, windows all the way around. That's one thing you get with Grand Design, the windows folks. Big, big windows, the structures in there to support a big window. But if you notice, every single window in this trailer opens. Okay, a lot of manufacturers, they'll put windows in. You might get two or three windows that open in their trailers and then a whole bunch that don't. Grand Design puts those windows in that open. Okay, so two double sized bunk beds, which is really nice and they're oversized, which is good. You've got the plug-ins, the USB connections on both, you know, so the kids can plug in their devices. You got a roof vent there, AC duct, uh, pull down MCD roller shades to close in those windows, which is real nice. Little step up there. And then you've got a little, another little step there, three drawers. And then you get a nice big wardrobe in behind that mirror for hanging clothes up. That sort of thing and then if you want to put a television in the bunk room as well you can do it so real popular that's what took the length from 34 feet one inch in the 290 down to 32 11 in this particular model the 278 bh so and of course a pocket sliding door grand designs known for their pocket doors the kitchen in this folks is fantastic you get loads of counter space you know, seven drawers right here in your kitchen alone. And they're not small drawers either. Upper cabinetry. They decided to run the cabinetry in the kitchen all the way to the roof, which is nice. And then you've got the shelves in there as well. So double the amount of storage, which is good. All your cabinetry is a veneer wrap, no MDF. Uh, it's a solid wood uh, lumber core door. It's all screwed together. It's not stapled. And then what they did, uh, because they just last year went through the redesign on the interior, they wanted to kind of modernize the, the cabinetry on the inside of the trailers. So they wanted to give you a, more of a shaker style cabinet door. Your typical shaker style cabinet door is a flat panel door and it's real flimsy and cheap, real tingy. If you, you, know, you open up and close the door, they kind of snap and they just don't sound, feel as structurally sound. And Grand Design's known for their cabinetry. So typically with a raised panel door, you know, it kind of raises here and then, you know, goes across. It's a much thicker, more rugged door. Grand Design is still giving you that nice look. Decided to go with the reverse raised panel door. So they just flip that raised panel on the inside so that you can, you know, ensure that you're investing in a trailer that's got a real nice solid wood stained door. It's not a veneer wrap door and really nice solid hardware too. You know, hidden hinges, fully adjustable. Like you can't see the hinges. It's not those cheap little things you find on a lot of products today. So thermal foil countertop, it's a sealed countertop. Of course, your, your kitchen sink is a single basin, but it's an under counter mount. You can see you've got the, the wash rack there for drying dishes, doing your veggies, that sort of thing. So lots, you can hide your big dishes there. Lots of counter space, storage above. Television, of course, TCL. They use the Roku operating system on their TV. So it's a smart TV and you can connect that TV to any Wi-Fi. Uh, if you can, you know, add the gateway device to the to the t uh, trailer on the TV antenna, uh, you can most definitely suck in that Wi-Fi signal at a campground if they offer it, or a friend's residence if you're visiting them or what have you, or if you want to, you know, use your cell phone plan and get that SIM card connected with the right cell phone plan. Uh, you know, you can watch your YouTube, your Netflix, uh, Prime Video, Pure Flix, whatever you know your whatever you like. You can download the Sportsnet app and watch playoff hockey uh, in June which is super cool. 
um, upper cabinetry with the hutch tri-fold sofa that does make down into a bed and then you've got a real nice big u-shaped dinette in this trailer grand design of course giving you the flexibility of being able to spin these cushions around so if you don't want to have the lighter they call it buffalo check um, print pattern there um, you can spin that around and protect that from from the kids but again great big windows which is nice and this u-shaped dinette folks does make into a really really big bed too so eight cubic foot refrigerator if you want to have a four-door fridge you can go up to the 28 bh in the regular reflection lineup and it's a little longer it's got a slightly different bunk room configuration but you do get the four-door cubic foot uh, four-door 12 cubic foot refrigerator there as well so um, on the 150 series folks they use a laminated floor again grand design dna item on your main floors they don't run any heat ducts so you get a much stronger floor there's no groove cut in the middle of the floor for the heat to travel you know heat ducts and vents to step on soft spots to develop all of those things so it's a double it's a laminated floor with a double stacked plywood that seems staggered all bonded together to create a one piece very strong structurally sound floor so laminated just like the sidewalls okay um, and then right up here you've got your convenience center so tank monitors awning extend switch slide out switches your 12 volt um, heat blanket tank heater switch awning light ceiling light it's all right here conveniently located right at your front door which is nice and then in behind the couch here or if I can pull that out yep is your converter box grand design really is smart they try to mount that um, you know breaker panel to, uh, fuse panel right by the front door so if the slide outs retracted um, and you need to change a fuse or something uh, it's easy to access it's always at your front door you're not having to battle uh, to manually open up a slide out let's say and uh, to get to that, that that breaker box DVD Jensen DVD player Bluetooth capable um, all that so motion sensor lighting right here at your front door oh uh max fan rain sensor max fan right right here in your kitchen they do that on all of their products and uh the remote uh is right there by the front door as well so if you're cooking inside you want to get rid of that the heat just from if it's super hot outside if you're dry camping they give you that fan and they do move a lot of air which is nice so nice grab handle by the front door no carpet on the steps they give you a little light there that you can turn on at night so if you do got to come down into the living area or one of the kids has to come up and use the bathroom at night you can have that light on just so they're not falling down real nice uh, bathrooms on the 150 series so from here forward all the 150 series are the same the only thing that changes is what side of the trailer you walk up onto okay but the upper deck is what i would call this um, is all the same so same bathroom configuration beautiful vanity solid wood cabinet framing solid wood door with the uh, the mirror inlaid as well you do get the shelves so lots of storage nice big uh, sink for your bathroom as well you can actually get your face down in there and wash lots of storage cabinet space three big drawers solid wood front and then you've got the the shower glass door real easy transition to get in and out they give you the hanging pockets cool feature they give the little zip line here to go from one side to the other so if you've been out at the beach for the day and the kids got you know bathing suits that are a little wet you just zip that line across hook it in like at the hotels and uh, let the let the the bathing suits drip dry here in the shower upgraded shower faucet real nice setup of course they mount the uh, towel bar for you it does come with a toilet paper holder they don't mount it just if you know you can put it where you want of course you get a little added storage here as well so and again grand design all about the pocket doors versus a swing door so you know makes getting in and out of the bathroom so much safer at night because if you had a swing door here you got to walk down the stairs open the door and then come in so it can be a bit of a tripping hazard uh, we've seen people fall over the years and again your bedroom very consistent what you get with grand design 60 by 80 residential queen size beds you don't like the mattress go to any mattress shop it'll fit the same dimensions or get a mattress topper it'll fit perfectly the fitted sheets go around way better uh, the other thing they add the shelf up top right with the usb connection so you know his and her spots for cell phones just plug them in there and set your cell phone up there for charging nightstands on either side of the bed my camera's getting a little cold here losing it 
oh there we go sorry about that um nightstands on either side of the bed which is nice 110 plugs on either side so if you have a cpap machine you can plug it in there real nice and easy Again, emergency exit if you want to mount a tv up in here it goes right on that that's where that sticker there it says tv backer location there's a sheet of steel laminated in the wall for that tv bracket to mount to so and then of course you've got the uh the real nice big wardrobe here this is where i was saying outside wardrobe slides or storage uh grand design they've gotten smart still give you a great big wardrobe storage here with the configuration of the bedroom bathroom so you're not losing that storage and you get four big drawers and that drawer is as deep as that cupboard which is nice so and then you've got of course your storage underneath the bed so this is your 278 bh reflection 150 series um, my name is clayton phillips I'm the sales manager here at our dealership in leduc we are exclusive grand design it is freezing cold here my hand is about to start shaking here and uh, we'd love to invite you down to our dealership host you and your family take you through and uh, show you what grand design's all about show you what we're all about too um, take you through the product we've got a really nice process here real customer friendly customer centric focus read the reviews on the dealerships folks i can tell you how great we are um, but don't take my word for it go to woody's rv world leduc and uh, there's 230 plus reviews from our customers since we've opened a couple years ago and uh, you'll get to hear firsthand some of those success stories from our customers and uh, why people choose to send their friends and family here so again thank you for your time be safe in the world it's going to be an awesome year uh, once the snow melts and we get into the camping season here can't wait to get out camping myself we are all fired up here at the dealership. We've got new models arriving daily. And uh, that's all I got. Thanks for your time. Take care. Be safe in the world. And happy camping.